Hi all. So today I want to cover the use of underlays to help you incorporate human figures into your sketches. Um, I've noticed that some of you are quite uh, quite proficient at drawing human figures um, and others um, perhaps struggle a little bit more with it. So I thought I would cover a pretty pretty quick and simple technique to help you start considering um, yeah, the use of human figures in your work. So um, what we've got here are just two photographs um, where I have posed with a box and that box is you know, meant to represent um, a design concept, um, something roughly that size, perhaps, perhaps um, some sort of uh, storage container or maybe, I don't know, an entertainment system. Um, and what I've tried to simulate is a person carrying something this size up a flight of stairs. So from there, you actually notice I've taken the photographs on a white background. Um, and I've taken two here, one with a uh, white t-shirt on, the other one with a dark, just to sort of show you sort of the different outcomes in contrast that you can achieve. Um, obviously, you, you might find the balance that works for yourself. Um, what I've done from that point is actually put open these in Photoshop and edited the, uh, desaturated the image and edited the levels, um, so particularly the, the medium level and uh, created more of a contrast between the, the light background and the subject matter. So, um, yeah, uh, right now I could use these as an underlay, as they are, or what I also normally do um, just to help help it show through the paper is actually I print them out uh, these are at 20% opacity and from here I'll actually sketch over it to help define some of the major nodes in this character so uh, one major node being um, the head there and you know you can uh, maybe incorporate eyes and nose to make it look more human uh, there's a neck there so a chest Draw the waist there, so back, um, elbow. There's my wrist. Um, as you can see, the front leg here. Is it in front of the back there. So. Draw those in. And you just have to sort of compensate for the clothing that you might have on in the photograph uh, as sometimes it throws off. Throws off the sketch. So there you can see I've drawn the human figure and 
you know, here I'll, I'll outline the box as well. And now you'll see that when you actually put it under your page, so you, I'll show you the difference if you have just, were to just put the photo, sometimes it's quite difficult to actually see what's happening from outside of that being a sort of just a dark form on a white background. Um, when you outline it, you know it's actually a lot easier to see to see what's happening back there. So from this point, I'll actually, um, you know, you could actually just use that as your sketch, but if you were to translate that. to your page there's a note there Second foot and the arms there. And you can see I didn't quite outline that um, in the background, but I can now. And we might make this uh, perhaps Let's have a bit of fun and we can make this thing a giant boom box. So, and then I might just outline this step here as well, just to, since we've gone to the trouble of replicating it. That will help, help me with my sketch. Um, and, from this point, I'm just going to do the step lighter as obviously it's a bit less important. Um, and what I usually like to do, so I'll just get rid of that underlay, and what I usually like to do is just add a little bit of 3D-ness to this character. I do this in a, uh, this is a number two marker. Um, I try not to make this too dark, otherwise it'll start taking over from the sketch. But I find this usually just helps helps bring a little bit of life and a little bit of 3D-ness to that character and um, if you're worried about your the product that you're designing kind of fading away into the background there you can always um, 
you can always color that in a little bit more to pop it out. So um, yeah, there you have it. Um, and you can use this this node connecting node technique for anything from hands. Um, you know, if you're drawing something with a hand in it, just take a photo of yourself holding it, and then you can um, use the separate the individual nodes of your fingers and just connect between the the the, the joints. Um, you can use it for human figures. You can use it for animals. Um, I do just find that if I'm if I'm feeling a bit stuck for what to draw, this technique. Um, usually helps me. So yeah, hope it helps you as well. Thank you.